Good morning, dear students. How are you? I hope that you are fine. You know that we had started the lost child chapter in our previous video. Today we will continue that chapter. As the coin has two sides, in the same way our life has two aspects. It means happiness and sorrowness. Through everyone has to go. Now let's see. As they near the village, the child could see many other footpaths full of throngs. Uh, full of throngs means large number of people converging to the whirlpool of the fair converging means they were mixing with each other and whirlpool means the center of attraction and felt at once repelled and fascinated by the confusion of the world he was entering and repel means push do you know when we go to the fair at that time automatically we go ahead because some people push us and uh, with the intention to see the beautiful things so where we go we can't understand and we go by automatically ahead and though he entered in the world of confusion but he was very happy at that time a sweet meat seller hawk hawk means to say loudly to propose to, to do the propaganda of their items gulab jamun rasgulla barfi jalebi at the corner of the entrance and crowd face round at his corner at the foot of architecture of many colored sweets and how beautifully he had decorated these sweet items like a one best architecture do the best architect in uh, decorating the homes to beautify the homes like that decorated with the leaves and how he had decorated the sweets he, decor he had decorated with the leaves of silver and gold. The child stared open eyed and his mouth watered for the burfi. That was his favorite sweet. And naturally, the sweet when that even the child or the old person from child to the old person, if anyone sees the uh, sweet items or his, or his or her liking items, obviously our mouth watered. And obviously it, it happens with that child. And that was his favorite sweet. I want that burfi. He slowly murmured. Slowly murmured means he spoke slowly. But he half knew as he begged that his plea would not be heeded. Because his parents would say he was greedy. So without waiting for an answer, he moved on. And he knew very well. Half knew means he was, not, he was sure that his parents will not accept his request they will refuse his request and that's why what without waiting for any answer he move on a flower seller hawk a garland of gulmohar a garland of gulmohar the child seemed irresistibly drawn irresistibly means without stopping he went towards that gulmohar sellers he went towards the basket where the flowers lay heaped and half murmured, I want that garland. He means the pile of things. He murmured, I want that garland. But he well knew his parents would refuse to buy him those flowers because they would say that they were the cheap. So without waiting for an answer, he moved on. And he know very well that his parents will refuse. What the answer they will give, he know very well that that they will say that these flowers are of a low quality. They are not uh, of a good quality flowers. And obviously they will give the such type of answer. And that's why without waiting for an answer, he move on. Now next, a man stood holding a pole with yellow, red, green and purple balloons flying from it. The child was simply carried away by the rainbow glory of their silken colors and he was filled with an overwhelming desire to possess them all. And now next he meet uh, to a balloon seller. Actually balloon seller was having the different colors of balloons. Which symbolizes like a rainbow of a different colors. And obviously that child was fascinated to buy these things. He was tempted of the desire to buy these beautiful balloons. And obviously the child was simply carried away towards that rainbow color balloon sellers. 
and silken colors and he was filled with an overwhelming desire well overwhelming desire means strong desire to possess them all and obviously being a child he like that balloons more if you go to the fair obviously we see that the children are more tempted to such a type of beautiful things although they may be the toys or the vehicles jeep means in the form of toys or even balloons or sweet items so obviously being a child he was a, uh, he was fascinated towards all these things but he well knew his parents would never buy him the balloons because they would say he was too old to play with such a toys so he walked to father obviously they gave the answer that now he is no for not that age when that child can play with the balloons because they thought now he had been grown up now so obviously this is not the age of that child to play with the balloons because he has grown up now so they gave the answer of like this a snake charmer stood flaying a flute to a snake which coiled itself in a basket and its head raised in a graceful bend like the neck of a swan actually here the neck of a snake has been compared with the with the swan because do you know if you see the swan its neck also always raised and how it how does it look it looks very attractive if you see the swan so obviously you will also you will be fascinated towards the swan and even the when the snake raise its necks when the snake raise its neck obviously we are also attracted towards that because it looks very attractive and here graceful means very attractive and bend means curve like the neck of a swan while the music stole into its invisible ears stole means pass into the and obviously the music stole into the invisible ears like the gentle rippling of an invisible water rippling means soft rushing sound the child went towards the snake charmer but knowing his parents had forbidden forbidden means to prevent someone from doing something to hear such a coarse music as the snake charmer played and obvi- obviously they were the parents so obviously they were worried about the about their child and that's why they had prevented him they had forbidden him that he should not listen such a type of music which the snake charmer play in order to attract the snakes or in order to at, uh, catch the snakes so, because sometimes the snakes can bite him and out of that fear they forbid him from doing something to here course proceed further and there was a round about now next comes there was a round about in full swing round about means the merry go round with the wooden animal seats to ride on men women and children carried away in a whirling motion means in a quick motion whirling means in a quick motion shriek and cried and dizzy laughter dizzy laughter means uncontrollable laughter obviously the men women their small children all were enjoying the merry go round and that's why out of excitement out of joy they were sh- uh, shrieking they were uh, laughing uncontrollably and the child watched them intently intently means with the intention and then he made a bold request i want to go on the round about please father mother and he was making the bold request and finally he could make the request to his parents that please allow him to go to the merry go round but unfortunately to listen his plea his parents were not there because they had gone ahead and there was no reply he turned to look at his parents they were not there ahead of him and from this moment his hardship and struggle started he turned 
to look on either side either side means both side they were not there he looked behind there was no sign of them a full deep cry rose within his right throat with a sudden jerk of his body jerk means sudden movement of his body and due to that his throat also got dry and obviously because of this fast movement of his body as well as he cried when he couldn't find his parent at that time uh, he started crying and he was running here and there in search of his parents he ran from where he stood where uh, where earlier he stood from that place he ran here and there crying in a real fear mother father real fear means now he realized that he lost his parents tears rolled down tears rolled down from his eyes hot and fears fears means frighten his flush face even face also turned into the redden color and obviously how his face was looking his face was looking uh, frightened one and flush means when you are in a sad mood or when you are in depressed or angry at that time our face look reddish color also turn into redden color and watch convulse with the fear convulse means overtaken it means his face was overtaken with the fear now on his face we can observe the fear just imagine if you see some uh, ch uh, children if they lost something in the fair even just imagine their parents or their relatives obviously they become very panic and panic stricken he ran to one side first then to other hither and thither hither and thither means in all direction not knowing where to go and in such a condition he was not knowing where to go because in all directions he had searched but he in vain mother father he waited and he well means cried well means cried his yellow turban came untied and due to the running here and there due to the fast movement of his body and his turban untied and having run and even his clothes became the muddy having run to and fro to and fro means someone moves repeat repeatedly from one place to another in rage of running for a while he stood defeated for a moment and for a moment he thought that he had lost everything because he couldn't see his parents and that's why he was completely he completely became the senseless he completely uh, became the uh, defeated he thought that now he was completely defeated because he lost everything as he lost his parents and for a moment he thought that he lost everything his cries suppressed into the sobs sobs means now he started crying and at a little distances on the green grass he could see through his filmy eyes men and women talking filmy eyes miss like a, a movie as a artist or a protagonist lost his loved ones and then how he or she search in the same way he was trying with the full he was trying to search his parents with the full strength he tried to look intently among the pa patches of yellow clothes patches of yellow clothes means some people who wore the yellow clothes like his parents but there was no sign of his father or mother among these people who seemed to laugh and talk and just the people were enjoying the fair actually fair in those days people didn't have the uh, source of entertainment so that's why the fair was the only one source to make the entertainment and that's why people were enjoying this uh, fair as a festival just for the sake of laughing and talking the child search here and there in all direction but he couldn't find his parents see at the beginning of this Uh, second video i told you that the life is full of happiness and sorrowness in the same way the child was enjoying with his parents the phase of happiness this was the aspect of the life now second aspect started that now he was not enjoying his life because of the separation of his parents 